If you guys enjoy the content on my art videos, um, you can find me on YouTube, Instagram, Odyssey. You can also find me on TikTok as well. Okay, with that said, let's see what we can learn today. Hello everybody, welcome back. I am Artectris, and we're back with um, our journey on uh, male body types. Male body types. Can't spell today. That's wrong. Anyway, so with that said, I hope you guys are ready to do this. We're going to jump in on, I think the first thing we're going to jump on is just um, over um, more heavy set characters like our good friend here, uh, Roadhog. Hey. Those of you who are Roadhog mains, uh, shout out to you guys over there who plays Overwatch and all that great stuff. So we're going to use o um, Roadhog as our guest today to understand uh, body and how to construct one. Um, for the male, uh, I already did one for females um, from more heavy set, more chubby, to more masculine, to more lean. Uh, now we're focusing on the males. And then after that, when we're done with the journey of males from um, more heavy set characters like um, uh, Roadhog to more burly like men who are kind of chubby but not really. They're kind of like Roadhog here. I think he's more like in the burly side of things, but he has that big bubble gut and we're going to be focusing on that and all that great stuff. And then we'll keep going down the line to more thinner men uh, from lean to very uh, muscular, just muscles all around. But uh, right now we're just gonna use Rodog again. I'm using another Overwatch character to do this. I'm I'm sorry, guys. I know this is. A, I'm not gonna cop out this time. I'm not gonna just use the character and explain. I will do some drawings on my own, but it's gonna be like a character design type of thing. So we're gonna be doing that. So let's just jump into it. So number one thing you guys have to look for is that uh, when drawing these characters, you must know that when you're drawing a character as big as like Rodog here, we have to look at what's important. Name, the number one thing is the gut. Yes, the big old bubble gut, this thing right here. This will, this, this generally, um, this, 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 oh my god, I can't talk. This size of the stomach is like one of his best characteristics that you see on Roadhog. Now, um, to construct one, you must know your shapes and forms. You must know and understand. I don't know the um, technical terms like the overglass and the 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 the, the, the certain um, uh, you know uh, art um, uh, labels they have like hourglass, triangles, circles. I think pear shapes, all that. Uh, yeah, pear shapes and all that stuff. I, I forgot what they're called. Uh, if they are go by those names, I think there's other technical terms for them. But right now, he's just a big bubble gut dude. So when I'm constructing characters like this, I usually go with circles. But since I'm dealing with a male, I'm gonna like round off the circles to be more uh, square-ish because that's what's gonna simulate the muscles. But we'll just go it like this. So first, we go for the stomach. Actually, no. First thing we have we go we go for is the head because that's literally where we start from. Uh, and just to let you guys know, I'm doing this exercise so you guys can understand what to look for. I'm not saying go and do this and take someone else's work and just trace over it or anything like that. That's that's plagiarizing. Don't do that. This is just for educational purposes. So do not do this. Try to use your 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 I think mine's eye, I think. Use your eye and try your best to get that visual library in and then you get, you'll be able to do this. But this is just an exercise for those of you who are struggling to correct, um, construct your own characters. So we start with the head with a circle and then we start with all the joint areas here and here. Uh, we go for the hands. They're going to be big but the biggest part of his uh, other than the stomach is his I think forearms I think if that's the right term I forgot how it's which I'm called. Right here, they're big, right? Remember when I did the video with Zarya and Gochita, who are female, uh, female Gochita, the fan art? Uh, remember I said small, medium, or actually no, it's more small, big, medium. So the, the these, um, I think biceps, biceps are big. I think it's biceps, if I'm saying the right one. And the shoulders are small and the hands are medium so you know what to look for so these arms are bigger than the hands and the shoulders the shoulders are the probably the smallest parts right now and the hands are more massive so it gives them those big lugging arms and then we go from the stomach right here what we're looking for and then we go from the chest here and uh, you can round this off like a circle but if that if it looks weird to you just make it kind of square-ish kind of round it off 
a little bit and to look for anything else like the shoulders always know that people are usually heavy set like Roadhog here doesn't um, his neck doesn't really show that much when it does show it, 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 it the head actually overlaps and the shoulders kind of just connect to the head if anything they just literally connect they do show fat under it that's pretty much what it is that's the neck but they usually just connect the shoulders to the neck pretty much um, if that sounds correct to you guys those of you who are in um, care design who are in university or in college uh, you guys might know what I'm talking about maybe there's some things I'm saying that kind of off remember I'm not a major in this I'm just a dude who just kind of has experience but I don't have that like uh, education experience but I'm doing my best to show what I know and probably those of you who are more um, advanced in this can send me a message if I'm on the right track or put it in the comment section or anything like that um, now from the legs are kind of like gonna be circled but I'm, oops oh. okay there it's gonna be circled but we're gonna make like sausages like this so you make it easier like that like that see and then pretty much the feet will be like this kind of circled off so we know what to look for okay now since we have pretty much the body uh, ready to go this is how you can construct one and I can make an original draw well, not original drawing but I can just literally like uh, use lines so um, if you guys are using any digital programs like this you can use um, like the line tool I think and then you can try to keep things proportioned as much as possible um, on something like character design like this so you can keep things pretty much in line so I'm gonna do that in two seconds I'm gonna take a blue line so you guys can see it I'm making sure that the the, the lines are bigger so you guys can see it because I've been kind of noticing that when I use lines they're not showing all that well and it's hard to see them and I feel bad about that so I'm gonna try to keep things 100% proportioned so we get from here oops oh Hmm, about, I think about here. I'll have to fix that one then. And, let's see. Okay. And then, I think the hands will be about, oh, even though his hands is up, I th his hands resting, so it should be about here. Alright, and then, legs, from here to here, and then from here to here we use oop that's a little bit too down okay right here there we go there you go and then the last but not least we're going for the head uh, I'm gonna go for the neck up like this so we know where the neck is and then the head okay since we got everything kind of proportioned in a sense we know what to look for so number one thing I'm going to do is make another layer and I'm going to make it even more darker so you guys can see. I'm not drawing his, um, I'm not drawing all the extra fang dangles that's on him. I'm just drawing the overall idea of him. Actually, better yet, before I even get into the line part, just thought of something. Um, what we can do is turn this down. Actually, we can turn this off, actually. Uh, completely just turn it off. Okay. And then we have the lines here. And then what we can do to, to show that how this works is that uh, we can use another method to use. I'm gonna use the um, the same brush. So I'm gonna keep it down, and I'm going to try to make the circles more um, squarish, if that makes any sense. So you guys know what to look for. So I'm gonna square off these body here, and then I'm gonna just connect them pretty much. And connect them like I don't need I don't need the the over the roadhog model just to do this once you understand your forms once you understand your shapes and you can use those shapes uh, it can be easier to do them and construct them and I, I suck at hand so if my hands look like crap you, you guys know what it is I still suck at drawing hands it's one of my biggest pet peeves I hate drawing hands and all that stuff though so if you see my hands like like total crap I'm so sorry <laughs> I'm so sorry peoples all right so like that right and then we're going to give it a little bit more definition like that right 
see how, how much easier it is um, to see uh, the body type like once you understand your forms or once you understand what to look for like the joints and make them circular and stuff like that you can always use circles for every body type if you want but I use um, squares and stuff like that to symbolize the muscles or more of a masculine type character um, when it comes to females you can use some squares if you want if, if, if that's what you're most comfortable with but uh, just to show you know difference in like gender um, muscle types and stuff it, it makes it easier and stuff like that but hey it, 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 that's just a method I use so you don't have to use that method that's just works for me uh, and stuff like that so I'm going to I, we got the arms pretty much don't worry about this part this is just pretty much behind oh okay this is pretty much behind the the stomach so don't worry about that that looks weird I'm, I'm gonna erase that soon so put it up here and then we're going to give him his bubs his bub bubs his man bubs that's pretty much what that is okay and then we'll put this in here and give him his big old stomach uh, the stomach is going to be resting like okay see how his stomach is kind of like like okay let me bring it up see how his stomach is kind of like like this the only reason why it looks like it's full pressed up because he has uh, stuff that's on it like um, his the items that oops the items that's on his uh, like this thing right here I forgot what's called his uh, his utilities and stuff like that that's kind of like that's because the the stomach should be like pressing out like that or something like, that. like it's supposed to be hanging but since um roadhog has more muscle here you see here where the breast is supposed to be falling he has more muscle so the, there's more um muscle that's pulled up than anything I'm not saying they're not laying but they're more pulled up because he probably does more push-ups he does more uh, uh um um what do you call it um uh pull, like pull-ups push-ups all that type of stuff the work on his um his upper upper strength pretty much so i can make my own type of roadhog from this point not roadhog but roadhog body type and uh let me see i can't read here so i can make the stomach because i can make the breast actually sit on itself when his stomach actually is sitting like this not sitting but it's more up because he does push-ups but I'm making him more chubbier so that's pretty much what I'm doing I'm just showing you guys so I'm gonna make the stomach like this right we don't need that in the background actually uh, we just need our circles yeah there we go and because oh I made the stomach a little bit more hold on let me fix that I made the stomach a little bit more um smaller and then we'll make this like big okay know what to look for all right great stuff see that when you when you follow this method of using your circles your forms and stuff like that it's not as hard as you probably may think at first because when you're first doing this you don't know like you, it's gonna be hard because it's like it's not something you're used to doing but when you start doing it more and more it becomes easier and easier that goes with virtually anything so and his crotch is right here the legs go here and here okay okay and then we got the head right here see see how much more easier now it looks to eat oh. You see how much easier he looks with this? So like that and like that. Uh, let's take away the the, the guides. So oh, he's kind of floating. I don't like how his foot is like like that. Let me make his foot more stapled. Okay, there we go. Um, and we're going to erase this to give it more like the arms behind there, and then we're going to erase this. Uh, because this is part of that and then we're going to yeah, okay so you see how much easier it is to see this now as a character so just a bunch of circles the circles are just guidelines to let you know what to look for what's supposed to be small what's supposed to be big and what's supposed to be medium size his head is this probably the small like one of the smallest parts about him 
literally like literally like his head is not that big but nor that small his biggest body part is his gut his arms uh right here here and i'll say maybe his legs pretty much but that's that's near nor here so but his smallest features is his his shoulders his head and i guess you can say his hands but not all that much those are like secondary but that's something you should look for now we're going to the other method of uh how to construct bodies and keep them more proportioned this is just a method i you can use i don't really use this method because i just kind of eyeball it and do all the um flipping the canvas type of stuff but that's me just doing the way i do it but i'm just showing you guys a method you can use so i'm going to use uh, a probably a green like a dark green you guys can see it better um so i'm going to turn this down so we know where his head is so what we're going to do is uh well we can keep this on we don't even really yeah, you can keep it there all right so okay i'm gonna do this real quick i might time lapse this but you guys can like stop and pause and see where i'm at so so this is the shoulders where the neck is So like from here to here, you can use these as ways, it's like a character design um, method you can use, like the lines to keep things proportioned to see what you should look for mainly uh, and stuff like that. So this is something you guys can use. Uh, there's other ways of doing this. I think there might be other uh, videos on this very subject on using the line method. I don't like using it too much, I just like eyeballing my stuff. So. And then if something looks off, I just fix it and thing because I've been doing this for so long. It's like it, it, like doing this method is kind of not annoying, but it's like it's it's not something I just usually do. So it's like it is what it is. All right, so we pretty much did what we needed to do here. We, we constructed a body type pretty much, and uh, we did, well, we, we used Roadhog as a, a reference to understand what to look for, and I don't think we're too far off. We, I think we got it pretty well, but I used most of the circles on this one, so it looks kind of soft compared to the original. But uh, this is something you guys can use. I, I think this was pretty helpful for those who want to construct your characters in a certain way um, and keep them um, pretty much proportioned and understand how to keep them proportioned. Uh, but uh, I'm going to redo this again and then I'm going to time lapse it. I'm not going to explain anything because uh, pretty much I just did what I did earlier. But the difference is of using the actual model, I use a different angle. So he's looking straight at us. So that's something you guys can use to keep your angles 100% and still draw your characters the way you want them to be. Always keep things proportioned, know your forms, know your, your, your shapes, and this can be helpful to you guys. Um, um, I'm going to do this again. I'll be right back, guys. And I'm going to be a lot more refined on this. I'm not drawing the whole character. I'm just drawing the main shapes and everything else. So I'll be right back with uh, another color. I'll be right back. All right, I'm pretty much done here. I know this doesn't look like the best, especially when it comes to the head, but like, I'm just showing you guys what you should look for. And pretty much I did what I did. Um, I put some forms here and put some depth on some of his muscles so you guys know what to look. Um, see this curve here, I give more depth. Sorry about that. I put more depth so you guys can see muscles. Uh, I didn't put a lot of depth in the hands because I suck at them. 
and I need to get more better at my hand drawing. I really hate drawing hands as much as they, I think anyone hates it, but I, you have to draw your hands when you get the chance. Um, so this is how um, you can actually keep your characters quite balanced or at least per, um, close to being proportioned. I know this, there's some stuff that still is going to be refined pretty much in this drawing, but it's something better. I, let me give him annoying cloth or something. I, I need to give him some clothes. I don't know. I, 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 yeah, give him, give him annoying cloth. Yeah, that'll be a Blizzard, you got your next skin. Annoying cloth road, <laughs> roadhog. <laughs> <laughs> Jungle, uh, uh, wild, wild uh, roadhog. That's something you guys could take from me, pretty much. I'll, I'll give him a stick, uh, like a hook stick, or or he could be like, uh, what'd you call it? Uh, what's his name from that Disney movie? Maui, Maui roadhog or something. Yeah, we'll give him some tribal tattoos and stuff like that. He'll look kind of awesome. Let's 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 do it. Let's let's do this, uh, Jeff Kaplan. Let's let's get that Maui. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Roadhog outfit for the summer. That'd be kind of awesome. I, I think you guys could get behind that. Can anyone get behind that? Uh, Maui uh, Roadhog? That'd be kind of awesome, don't you think? You know, it is what it is a Hawaiian like uh, Roadhog. That'd be pretty awesome. So, <laughs> I'm sorry, I went off topic. So, you guys, this is something you guys can look forward to uh, using this as a method to make your characters look frontward, uh, sideways. Um, even three quarter. I was going to do all that, but I think that would be too like the same thing. I'm trying to do different things. So just in case, for whatever reason guys, if this video was not helpful, let me know. Go in the comment section, say you got confused with something, or if there's something I didn't touch upon, or something like that. I'll do another video on this same subject or topic, or I'll come back to it again um, later on in time, or something like that. If this was not helpful because I'm always doing something different for you guys to learn something so if you guys was expecting like a bunch of angles and stuff like that I'm sorry about that but if you guys do want more of that I'll even do not only a video on it but I'll also do a speed um, sketch on it as well and put on Instagram or do more um, uh, heavy weight or heavy um, set characters and stuff like that you know so you guys have something to look forward to just tell me what you want um, and all that good stuff. So in our next video, we're going to be focusing pretty much on more burly men, more, more, less gut. I'll say like less gut, more arms, more, a little bit fat there, but not so much. Uh, not like Roadhog here. You guys will know who I'm talking about. I, I think I'll use, um, I, I don't, I can't use Sig from Full Metal Alchemist. I, I, I gotta find a, either a character, uh, to use as an example, but I can't think of one off the top of my head, but someone that's more burly-ish or something like that. He's not, he's all upper strength just like um, Rodog here, but he's not all gut at the same time. Uh, he has some muscle, but it's not all that defined, but it's there type of stuff. I have to find a character or at least just either make up one or something so you guys can use as a reference or see as a reference for the next video. So thank you guys so much for coming in here. I hope you guys learn something from this. I hope this one wasn't too short or a case may be. I really hope not. I tried my best to explain this as best as possible if I could. Uh, if I didn't, please let me know once again. If you guys liked this video, was it helpful in any way, check on YouTube or on uh, Instagram or also on uh, what, what, what's odyssey.com. Um, I'll be there and I am starting Patreon very soon and that'll be up i think by next week or so so you guys can check out what i have to offer uh if you guys love the videos to support it'll help very much so if you guys want to support that um you know like great stuff so thank you guys so much for coming in i appreciate you guys giving me the feedback you guys give me and you guys are your comments are awesome those of you who are beginners or those of you who are more advanced than i am thank you so much for that i'll see you guys in the next one <sighs> stay safe uh, keep distance, hug your family, love them, keep practicing out there, keep a plus soldier guys. I'm Jace Reaver and I'm out. Later guys.